In this video, I'm going to talk about memcopy in C. So memcopy is a function that we can use to actually copy a block of data from one memory address to another memory address. And we can get it by including string.h. So if we include string.h, that'll give us access to memcopy because the function is found in there. And string.h comes with C, so you've always got access to that. And I'm going to say here car s for my source. And this is going to be my source of data. So I'm going to say here the alphabet. I'll say a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, j, k, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right, so there's our alphabet there. I forgot V. And we'll then put a destination in. So I'll say car D 27. So I said 27 for the destination because even though there's 26 characters in the alphabet, this also implicitly includes the null terminator. So there's always going to be the null terminator too. So that's why there's got to be 27 to store the null terminator as well. And then if we wanted to copy the contents of S into D, we could use memcopy to do that. So I could say here memcopy, and I could say here D, S. And what this is, the first two arguments here, is these are actually both memory addresses. These are both technically pointers. So when I use a character array like this, or any kind of array really, like this, with no sort of array notation indexing, so I don't say like three or something like that, if I just use like D, what I'm doing is I'm actually using the array like a pointer. And we say that the array is going to decay to a pointer. So D and S, what these really are, are memory addresses. These are really pointers at this point when we're using them here. And S is really like a pointer to the first memory address here of this, this block of data here. And D is really a pointer to the, to the first element in this 27 character block of data that's been set aside to store uh, D, to store characters. And so that's what D is. That's the destination address. This is a source address. And then the next argument is the number of bytes to copy. So we're going to say size of car. So size of car times 27 to get all the characters of the alphabet plus the null terminator. And then if we do a printf of D afterwards, we're going to see that D is going to be the alphabet. So we'll printf D and we get the alphabet here. We get like A, B, C all the way to Z there. And then, and then that's that's kind of the basics of memcopy, but we can use it in kind of interesting ways. So let's actually make another array here now. We're gonna say here car, and I'm gonna call this one E, and we're gonna say that it's gonna store 10 characters this time. So 10 characters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy nine characters from S, but I'm not gonna copy from the beginning. I'm actually gonna copy from the middle of the string. Let's go into the string one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. So I'm gonna start eight characters into the string, which should be I, and I'm gonna copy the nine characters from then on. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should go up to Q. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say memcopy into E S plus eight. And then I'm gonna say size of car times nine. So what this is doing is it's saying, use as the source address s shifted over eight so shifted over eight characters so one two three four five six seven eight so it should start at i now that's that's pointer arithmetic which is giving me sort of like eight locations over right and then i'm saying copy nine characters worth of bytes of data so that should give us like i j k l m n o p q and then E, I've got to finish it off with a null terminator. So I'm going to say E at nine is equal to the null terminator because you got to finish off your string with a null terminator. Now, if I print F E, if I do E percent S, we're going to find that E is going to store like I until Q. So we can recompile this here and run it here. And we get that E is I until Q. So we can use memcopy in cool ways like this to copy you know, blocks of data at our will and you know maybe we shift things over maybe we don't copy exactly at the beginning of some block of data maybe we copy at the middle of some block of data and it's just kind of a cool tool that we've got to manipulate memory in c check out portfoliocourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop c programming projects